In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to graph logarithms using transformations. And if you don't like this technique, I'm gonna show you another method at the end of this video that you could use as well. So the first thing we wanna do when we're graphing this is look at our parent function. What's our parent function? It's basically like our core equation before we did all of the transformations, right? So you can see this is y equals log base two of x. That's our basic uh, graph here. Now you can rewrite this in exponential form by exponentiating or raising both sides using base two. And so what we have here is two to the y power is equal to x. So let's go ahead and make a table and let's put some values in for y since that's in the exponent position and we'll solve for x. So two to the negative two, well two squared is four, the negative exponent we take the reciprocal, so that's one fourth. Here let's plot, this, plot these points as we go here. And if we put negative one in, two to the negative one, that's gonna be one half, because two to the first is two, the negative, you take the reciprocal. Anything to the zero power is one, okay? And anything to the first power is itself, and anything to the second power, two squared is four, right? So this is gonna be two, one, and four, two. So you can see that this graph, our parent function, is just what we're used to when we're graphing logs. It's getting closer and closer to the y-axis, it's going up slower and slower, right? But now what we wanna do is we wanna to try to build up this equation, okay, step by step. So what I would do here first is I would say, let's say f of x, let's maybe call, um, let's call this c of x. We'll say c of x is equal to, uh, let's say our basic function log base two of x. Let's say maybe d of x is equal to c of x plus three. Now, what is this x plus three doing? Well. Whatever's in the parentheses, that's gonna go in for x on the right. So that means that what we're gonna be looking at here now is uh, log base two, here, let's write this down, d of x is equal to log base two of x plus three. But the x plus three, it's gonna shift the graph left three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna subtract three from all these x values. So this is gonna give us negative two and three fourths, uh, negative two and a half, negative two, uh, negative one and one. So I'm gonna cross out those old x values. These are our new ones. And that's gonna shift the graph left three. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's see, one, two, three. This point would be right about here. Uh, this point, one, two, three would be right about here. And this point, uh, one, two, three would be right about here. So I'm just kind of doing this rough here uh, like that. So basically our graph looks something like this now, okay? Now what we need to do is we need to make this a negative x. So I'm gonna make another function here, e to the x is equal to this previous function, d to the x, but I'm gonna write d of negative x. So what does that mean? It means that whatever's in the parentheses is gonna go in for x on the right here. So that means that e of x is actually equal to log base two of negative x plus three. That's the same as three minus x, right? So what does this negative x do though? This negative x, it's gonna make all the x values the opposite, which is gonna reflect it over the y-axis. So if we make all the x values the opposite, this is gonna become positive, 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 negative, right? So I just change those signs on the x to the opposite. Let's plot these points now. So negative one, two is gonna be right here. And one, one is gonna be right, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, is that right? Yeah, one, one, so that's gonna be, and this was negative one, two, so one, one is right here, and let's see what else we have. Two, zero is right here, and two and a half negative one is right here. So you can see what's happening. This graph is going like this now. See, we reflected it over the y-axis. Okay, now all we have to do is this plus one. So we could say maybe like f of x is equal to our previous function, e of x, plus one. That plus one is just shifting the graph up one, and of course, e of x is this guy here, and so this would be f of x is equal to, uh, not e of x, it would be log base two of negative x plus three plus one, which is this equation here that we were working with originally. But plus one means we're gonna shift it up one. I'm just gonna add one to all these y values. And so now if we plot these points, we said we're just shifting up one. I can just shift these all up one like this. Okay, so let's see, this would be here, this would be uh, right here, right here. Okay, so their graph is looking something like this now. And it's approaching this line here, x equals three. One, two, three, this is gonna be our 
vertical asymptotes. So it got a little bit messy there, but this is how you would use the uh, transformations. Now you might be saying, Mario, that's, that's a complete disaster. It's completely confusing. What's another method? Another method is we could rewrite this equation in the exponential form. So what I would do is I would subtract one here first. So I would say y minus one is equal to log base two of three minus x. Then what I would do is I would exponentiate both sides. This is log base two, so I'd raise both sides using that base two. And then I would subtract three, so that would be two to the y minus one, minus three is equal to negative x, and then I'd multiply both sides by negative one, so this would give us a negative two to the y minus one plus three is equal to x. Okay, so we've rewritten in the exponential form. I would make a table, x, y table, I would plug in values for y and solve for x. It's gonna be a little bit easier here because y is in the exponent position. So I might pick numbers maybe that are easy to work with like uh, one, uh, two, three, right? Y minus one is zero. Two to the zero is one, times a negative is negative one, plus three is two. Uh, let's say we put two in, two minus one is one, two to the first is two, times a negative is negative two, plus three is one. And three minus one is two, two squared is four, times a negative is negative four, plus three is negative one. Let's see if that matches here. We've got uh, two, one, we've got one, two, we've got negative one, three. Yep, that's, that's our final graph right here. And so you might find this to be a little bit easier method, rewriting it in exponential form. But keep in mind that whatever's in the parentheses here, uh, you could set this equal to zero to find your vertical asymptote. That'll be a key feature of your graph. And uh, that's how I would approach that. So if you wanna go deeper and learn more about logarithms, I have a complete guide. So not just graphing, but evaluating and solving and expanding and condensing and a lot more about logarithms. Follow me over to that video right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.